guys. Uh, shall we start our discussion? Yes. Okay, first of all, let's focus on our topic on what we're going to discuss today. So, our topic is uh, about public transportation. So, as we say now, our government is uh, giving more importance uh, to improve our public transportation service um, with the green, with the concept of green, go green. So recently, um, the government introduced some public services like MRT, KDM, and so on to ease the for public to ease their daily routine. So guys, what is what do you guys think about public transportation? And do you think we should encourage people to use public transportation? No, so let me come at this. So if you ask me, yeah, as you see, there, there are a lot of public transportation nowadays and the main thing is bus that is, is people. So in my point of view, we should encourage people to use public transportation as, first of all, it reduces the carbon dioxide gas when we use our own vehicle. But there's a lot of vehicle decoding on the roads and increasing own vehicle. So it can increase the release of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. So in this case, it can pollute our own atmosphere and also brings disease to ourselves. So, yeah, what do you guys think about that? I totally agree with your uh, point, but may I add something? Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, not only that, it's allow us to relax in the bus. When we are tired, uh, going back from the war, schools, you can yeah. sleep in, your, in the public transportation. And then, and then you can save your money to to if you want to travel to a long long distance journey. Because uh, so what you say is because the price is more economical. Yeah. And it's affordable by most of us. Yes. Yes. Um, I do agree with uh, both of your points. But however, uh, if we look at other perspectives such as economic perspective. This public transportation actually brings also brings negative effect to our economy. Um, let me give you an example. Uh, when uh, there are tons of public transportation in our countries, so the demand for cars will be less lessened. So this will cause the competition between company which sells cars will decrease and they will face loss too. So in this case, uh, for an example, our own uh, cars, such as Proton, will face uh, the loss and it will affect our uh, country's economy. So, in my perspective, in my view, um, this is not a good sign for our economy. So, what do you guys think? I also agree with uh, Gary. Uh, I see more negative impact. Uh, I see negative impact more than positive one. Um, okay, my point of view. Uh, Although public transportation, we, you may be relaxed, you may be, uh, it may be cheap, cheaper than um, you are uh, having car on your on your own. But um, public transportation consumes a lot of time. Uh, so if you are running out of time, you might be like if you are going to work at heaven, you might be dead uh, uh, because. You know, um, bus and train have their own schedule, so you need to be familiarized with the schedule first. So if you are not uh, being familiarized, familiarized, so you might be uh, left by the bus, uh, left by the bus or train. So there will be you will consume a lot of time to wait for the uh, the next bus. I partially agree. With your point, but somehow, uh, as what Gary told you about economic wise, if we say uh, the compare between the public transportation and the own transportation, actually, we, we see the economic is actually the mutualism. It means like everyone nowadays having or owning a car has become a basic need of people. So, uh, even though we have car, but we have to encourage them to use public transportation, uh, maybe. They can use their car for their personal use, but go to work or go to somewhere, public places, they may use public transportation. 
so we can reduce the number of cars on the road. So indirectly can avoid uh, traffic jam. Um, besides that, people are not using public transportation for free. They are even paying for the services of uh, the public transportation. So directly or indirectly, uh, we can still uh, increase the economic of our nation. Now, as you say, I do agree with you, and I also would like to come back to Gary's point. In, the, in this point, he said that we can uh, bring, decrease down our economy, but here now we are facing inflation, uh, inflation in our country. So it means like we can also encourage foreigners to participate themselves into public transportation industry where they also can own their own bus and also give a better services to other people. Means like we compare to our own own nation bus, public public bus, their service is not is lesser compared to those uh, well known buses that used to travel to airports or somewhere better place. So why not we encourage those foreigners to uh, play their role in public transportation or also provide a good service for us? Even though we have to pay more in the ticket wise, but we are able to get a good service in the, at that point. Um, I think I have something to say. Um, what if we look at the other picture when we have foreigners in our country? So uh, let's say that uh, when they bring many things or stuff with them and they want to go uh, on a vacation, so actually it is hard for them to go on a vacation with a lot of things and using the public transportation. So actually it is better for them to use a rent car so that um, they can bring all of their stuff to a particular place that they can go. So what do you guys think? Uh, I also agree with Gary because there is there will be another problem for us if, if the tourists or travelers uh, uh, they might they lose their property. Uh, uh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Uh, and there were also when there is too much people in the public transportation such as bus and train, they might be exposed to the uh, pickpockets, uh, the criminals. You know, when the travelers do, are not familiarized with the place, they might be cheated. They might because they don't know the place. Uh, I agree with both of you. Uh, Gary said just now, a uh, foreigner will travel using public transport. Uh, but I think majority of them that territories that come to Malaysia, they tend to travel alone and uh, you know, backpack, backpack mm -hmm. uh, something like that. So uh, it's easier for them to use public, trans public transport. And I think about the about uh, crime in public transport. I think it's okay because nowadays most of uh, public transport like bus have public avoid uh, camera and uh, CCTV. Um, so I think it's safe for them. Yeah, well, they also do play safeguard houses at those like uh, KTM stops and those MRT stops, right? So we do get to any complaints if uh, we have we faces any problems. Uh, because uh, the services, uh, the customer service is quite good. We can report if even if the, drive, the bus driver uh, is driving or uh, is not driving yeah. properly, we can, uh, we can complain uh, to the company. I think it's safe for us to use the, the public transportation because we can reduce the amount of the accident in the road because too much too much car in the road can cause accidents. Some people don't don't have any license to to bring the car uh, to drive the car. It can cause any accident to other. If the using the public transportation, some some of the driver are uh, have enough training. They will know how to handle the bus or any public transportation. With yes, point. Uh, in my opinion, I would like to add up something. Like, uh, people from all ages, no matter children or 
old age people, they can use public transportation. Um, even if a bit, someone who don't know how to drive or even doesn't have a driving license, they can even travel by using public transportation. So from here, you can know that public trans uh, with the purpose of public transportation, people can go anywhere. Um, and they don't, they don't, so what you say is, they don't have to think uh, whether they are taking the right road. Uh, so uh, taking uh, public transport will ensure that they uh, the right track. The right summer will take them to the right track, where you can even find a better place to stop at the uh, wrong point. Yeah. But, however, um, when we look at the uh, public transportation in Malaysia, actually not all area in Malaysia is facilitated with of the transportation system. Um, for an example, in a uh, rural area, uh, such as in Sabah, in Sarawak, many of uh, those areas are not uh, facilitated with public transport because um, of the geographical uh, structure yes. of the place. So it is uh, better for them to use their own cars so that they can move easier rather than using the public transportation. So what do you guys think about it? Actually, we should go back to a point where yeah, she was trying to say something. Um, yeah, let's come back to my point. Um, as what I say, um, people from all ages can use them. For example, if you take like school children or school students, they might have uh, some gatherings or reunion out of their school. So, their children, of course, they can't have a driving license. So, they can use, they can make use of the public transportation to go to the gathering or to have a party and it's a benefit for them and so their parents uh, won't have to worry about that. So I strongly agree that we have to encourage people to use public transportation. Okay, uh, I have something to ask but uh, mostly I, uh, every family have their own cars, you know, so uh, there will be uh, less less people. I mean, there will be um, not everyone would like to use the public transportation because every family has their own uh, but, uh, have their own cars. So, I mean, uh, if the student like children like uh, the uh, lowest, uh, lowest school, uh, they will, uh, parents will uh, send them. So, they will use the public transportation. Uh, what, what do you think? Maybe in that point of view, maybe parents can train them from small age and how to use public transportation in a big group so that they, they are not missing in that environment and also it leads to better knowledge for the students, I mean, for the kids. What do you think? Mm -hmm. It also encourages children to become more independent. Yeah. Uh, uh, moreover, uh, parents know they are working. Sometimes they have no time to send their children. Like maybe they are chasing the time, so they just want their kids to be dependent and learn something new. Mm -hmm. I think there are some of the okay. oh not some but all of them have consideration to like un like okay okay you uh, mm -hmm. children. Uh, pregnant woman, uh, and then it's very very comfortable for them uh, because we may have their own seat. Uh, yeah, they can flexibly provide for them. Yes. Such as train, uh, we have the women coach in the train. Uh -huh. So the safety might be more stable for women to use trains. So well, guys, I. I guess you guys have come to the point that all of us agree with using public transportation so we should encourage all of us to use public transportation as it can enhance a better economic and also like reduce our pollution in our world. So I think that's all for us, right? For discussion. So, so we all agree with the point. Yeah, so yeah, even though like they are pro and pro of using public transportation, but as we can see, like, public transportation is more benefit to us. So, strongly agree to yes. public transportation should be encouraged by public. So, 